everyone, welcome to my tutorial. Um, before we get started, I need to tell you that this picture right here is not from me. It's from one of these sites. So it's not from me, so I'm giving credit. Okay, so let's start. The first thing you need to do is open your image. It's really easy opening your image. Just go to File, Open, or Control O um, for, you know, Windows users, HP. Okay, so... Um, the first thing that you need to do is, if it says on the layers palette, if you have the layers palette, good. If you do not, you need to go to the top where it says window, layers, uh, the shortcut is F7, just to let you know. Right, I just zoomed in, um, what you need to do is you need to make sure that your layers palette is visible, as I said before. If it says background, just double click it with your left click mouse and just press OK. So it should come up with layer 0. Perfect if it does. The next thing that you need to do is we're actually going to start doing it. So you're going to go to the top of you know the program and you need to go to image, adjustments, and color balance. We're going to mess around with these. So we're not going to just do a random thing, you know, woo, okay. Um, to get this kind of style, um, just follow me if you just want to go crazy with the color balance, that's fine with me. So you need to go to look where it says tone balance, select highlights. Um, we're going to enter our color levels. The first one is negative 48, negative 33, and negative 54. And then press OK. So there should really not be that much of a change, but you still s kind of see it. Next thing that we need to do is we're going to go on right click on the layer 0 or layer, you know, 1, duplicate layer and press OK. For this one, we're going to go to the top and make sure that you have layer 0 um Make sure that you have uh, layer 0 selected. Either you can go at the layers palette and click on that half black circle, half white circle, and then go to granite map or gradient map, or you can go to image on the top, adjustments, and then gradient map. But we're going to do this one because I like this one better. So you're going to go gradient map. Then we're going to see how it shows this. Okay, we're going to click on it. It says click to edit the gradient map. We're going to Select this and make it a different color. We're going to make it blue. So this is kind of like a ooh, kind of really crazy blue. We're going to switch them up. Shoot. Oops. Okay. We're going to make the blue go on the right and then the white go on the left. So it should create this weird like invert thing. So we're going to click reverse. So we just did the same thing. Alright, so for this, we're going to make it um, 5%. We're going to make it 5%. So we're going to drop the opacity to 5%. So you should be able to see it. If you put it a little bit more, it creates kind of that two blue effect. So we're just going to do it to 5%, around 6 or 5%. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer. So you see where this little box is? We're going to press that. It should create a layer 1, layer 2, layer 3, whatever. That It'll just come up. For me, it comes up with layer 1. So you're going to go to Edit on the top, Fill, and then we're going to use a foreground color. But unfortunately right now, I don't have it. So we're just going to click Color, and then we're going to select the blue again, and then press OK. Now, let's look at the layers palette again. It should say normal right here. See? We're going to go all the way down to exclusion. It should create that kind of yellowish, bluish effect. Perfect. So we're going to mess around with it. We're going to drop it down to about mm, 21%. There's a difference. It kind of creates that yellowish, bluish, but mostly bluish effect. We're going to make another layer, but this time we're going to get this kind of olive color. So the code is, if you want it, 
is 9E 9A 8 9 and press OK. Um, you should select it right here. This is the colors. This is foreground and this is background. So we're going to go to the same thing. On the top, go to edit, fill, color. But for this, since if you already have it, just go to foreground color and it should appear. Perfect. So we're going to turn this one, this kind of uh, blending mode, to soft light. I'm going to keep it at 100%. Perfect. And then for our last thing, to make it spice it up a little bit, we're going to go to the top where it says filter. And then go down to distort. And then lens correction. We're going to create kind of that bignette, um effect. Veganet. I don't want to see. Um, make sure that you have a your last, your main picture um, selected because if you have this one, it'll open up as this one as being visionet, and you want to make sure that this one is selected. Really, really good. <coughs> so you're gonna go to the filter again. Sorry about that. And you're gonna go to sort. Then you're gonna go to lens correction. So you can already see. Let me take off that grid. It is ugly. Oops, my bad. Maybe I can't take it off. Um, okay. On the bottom, it should say show grid. Just unselect it if you don't want it. Alright. So, um, we're going to go to. See right here, it says visionette or veganette. Go to amount. And then glue that. Just make it shift it to the left. Then um, shift this one to the left too. And then press OK. It should come up with the effect, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Hmm, that's weird. Um, either this one or this one you can select them. I don't know why it's not doing what it's supposed to do. Alright, let's see. Hmm, that's weird. So, um, either this or this one you have... To, this one you can actually delete. The layers, the duplicate layer you can actually delete. But, um, just make sure that this one is selected when you do the visionette. So, yeah. And then for our last thing we need to do is go to filter. This is optional. Most of this stuff is optional, so you don't have to do it. Go to sharpen. Sharpen makes it look very nice, um, very good. Okay, so I like to do some little touch-ups. So I like to zoom in all the way. See the toolbox on the left? It should say dodge tool, burn tool. Okay, we're going to do dodge tool. This is optional, so you don't have to follow this. I want to go with her hair, and I'm going to make her hair brighter. I like that kind of brightness it stirs it up really good so just it just makes it look really good um you can you know mess around with those kind of things so if you want to see the difference it's pretty good so hope you enjoy and thank you for watching and subscribe and comment if you have some criticized so cool comments so thank you